Redditch has its very own Lord of the Rings and he's done it again, this time with two new calendars on benches of Redditch and post boxes of Redditch. Kevin Beresford first hit the headlines with his best-selling calendar, Roundabouts of Redditch, in 2003. Not only a hit around the town, Kevin sold a whopping 100,000 copies worldwide and his calendars found fame on the BBC on hit chat shows such as The Graham Norton Show and on news bulletins and in countless newspapers in cities as far flung as the USA. Kevin even received a cheque for $5,000 from a city in Indiana. And a few years back, they, they actually paid me $5,000 for the, for the rights of my calendar, just for that one year, because we named one of their roundabouts the International Roundabout of the Year. What a, an amazing accolade. And now Kevin's keen to get roundabouts used in more cities across the world, especially in America, as many American states still don't have roundabouts. Kevin thinks James Corden is the man to get the job done. I'd love to make it my mission in life to try and get America to embrace the one-way gyratory. I'd love to go on the James Corden show and try and put this message across to, to the American public because for some reason they're scared of roundabouts. Can you believe that? They'd rather have the four-way system, which is dangerous. Since his first calendar, Kevin has become an international hit with people from around the world snapping up his calendars of Redditch. Kevin says his calendars offer a unique view on the ordinary. I think artists have always focused on the mundane. I like to capture slices of English life that nobody else would bother with. Tracy Emmons on my bed, uh, Andy Warhol would just do a can of soup, Campbell's soup, and even Van Gogh would just have a pipe on a chair. Uh, I used to run a small printing company uh, in Redditch, and uh, we wanted to give our customers something a bit different, uh, something to do in Redditch. And uh, we know all about the needle industry, and we, we thought, what, what else can we do? Springs now. We thought, what, it, what Redditch does have is a copious amount of roundabouts. So we came up with the roundabouts of Redditch, which, which just caused a storm. It was, it was shown and all, all on TV. Uh, and it just took, took off worldwide. And that, the roundabouts of Redditch spawned the... the uh, Roundabouts of the world and best of British roundabouts. So we, we was able to move on, if, if you like, from roundabouts. But then I just started taking an interest in all, all sorts of things. <laughs> the, the current one now is the benches of Redditch. And we've all sat on a bench, haven't we, in our time? We walk past them. Do we appreciate them? I mean, in, in our time, we must have, I don't know, courted on them, uh, maybe slept on them, <laughs> who knows, or, or just rested our, our weary feet. And I just thought, yeah, let, let, let's do benches of Redditch and hopefully uh, it might be a world seller. Kevin's new calendars, post boxes of Redditch and benches of Redditch look like they're also going to be a hit this Christmas. The way I choose benches, it's like the way I choose roundabouts or prisons, I, I tootle around the town and just wait to see what catches my eye. And if it's in a nice location, I, I used to drive my uh, ex-wife bar, bar me. We're, we'd be on a Spanish holiday lying around a pool and I'd say, uh, just have to do a couple of photographs uh, of our Spanish roundabouts. <laughs> I'm also a member of the Door Men's Club. Now, this is a club that started off in America by a guy called Leland Carson and he flits between uh, New York and Winchester. I was on a rack of the year about three years ago, which was quite an accolade. It says, there's nothing wrong with being called Dull. D dull is the new black. It's, it's sexy being dull. What do you think? When asked if he's got anything up his sleeve for future calendars, it looks like Jack Grealish might have something to look forward to. I've got a calendar in the making. I've done all the, the, the pictures already of Jack Grealish's car calves. Um, I don't know if you know Jack Grealish, but he's got cars of a Greek god. They are uh, magnificent. <laughs> but you can't see his face. It's, it may be his feet, but it's mainly the calves I'm doing. I did a jigsaw of his calves and uh, I had an interview with the BBC over that jigsaw. So I'm hoping Jack Grealish, the wonderful world of Jack Grealish's calves.